Hello everybody, it's Bud Rich, it's a new episode of Let's Linux, I call this one Dunstify. And we are going to take a quick look at a program that is uh, part of the Dunst project, it's called Dunstify. And it's uh, a bit of a, a little hidden gem in a way. Because uh, I think the Dunst developers, they use this uh, Dunstify program to, to kind of um, test all, all of the functionality with, uh, of Dunst. But it's, a, it, it's actually a quite useful little uh, uh, program. But the thing is that it isn't included in the normal packages. So if you just install Dunst from your package manager, be it Pacman or apt, I don't think that you will get this uh, Dunstify program installed. Uh, you have to either install uh, build Dunst from source here, which is very easy. You, you, you have to install these dependencies here, and then you just git clone this repository and make a sudo make install. And that will actually install this uh, Dunstify program for you. Or if you are on the superior uh, ARC based side of Linux, then you can find Dunstify in AUR. Uh, and it is called Dunstify. And that is how I have installed it this time. And Dunstify, it is just like a beefed up um, cooler version of notify send which is the uh, script or command that we have been using so far in in this video series to create a notification if i just run here uh, notify send message and we get a message here if we do this but instead use the dunstify command we will get the ex exact same result and you see it both of them use a dunst so they don't overwrite each other it just sends a notification message to the uh, notification daemon uh, which is dunst here so um, you can use both of them in conjunction if you would like to um, you can run both of them also they share many of the command line options so if you run notify send uh, dash dash help then you get uh, a short uh, help description. This is actually all help there is. There is no man page. And the same is true for Dunstify. Uh, no man page and you have to run it with a dash dash help um, to get the help screen. As, as you can see, there are some additional uh, command line uh, options or flags for Dunstify. But uh, many of them are also uh, the same. So, so you can... You can uh, they share like for example the t and the u option you can use them exactly the same way with dunstify the new ones uh, are quite interesting this is my favorite one the r replace id option and this means that we can let's do this dunstify message one and then we do dunstify message 2 and then we can do dunstify message 3 you see for each uh, um, notification it stacks them like this this is normal dunst behavior same would happen with notify send but uh, with dunstify you can if you want to specify an id for the notification with the r option here and the id is any integer uh, so let's do one two three four for example now we get message one, and now if I do there, you see now it doesn't stack it uh, with the R option. It replaces any uh, current notifications with the same ID here. But if we would do here, uh, let's do four and then five. But now let's change the ID here to something else. And now you can see five is uh, ends up uh, there. But now we can replace that instead. So I. Uh, I think you understand. It's really simple. It replaces any current uh, notification with this ID and the ID you specify that yourself and if no notification with that ID exists, uh, it will get created. So it's a really good idea to use this R option and I like to use like individual uh, IDs for each script. 
but you can do this however you want and, and with this technique you can create like a, a small kind of fake uh, animations uh, le le let's do something stupid here so you just get the id uh, i is equal to zero semicolon i is less than 10 semicolon increase uh, increment i uh, double parenthesis do done stiff five or five five four five four uh, dollar i sleep one done let's see what happens if i run this you see now it uh, cycles uh, here from zero to nine and updates the same notification so it, you don't get any flicker it just it looks like it just updates the text and this text could of course be icons or uh, anything you know so you can make like a bar uh, animation or maybe you increase the volume and stuff then you could use it here is actually uh, <laughs> it's written in swedish which i think is really cool it we, we don't we almost have no uh, swedish linux uh, things like this but this guy hund has created a, a, a little guide here where he, where he uses exactly this uh, uh, Dunstify technique to make an animated um, volume notification here. So just have a look at this uh, script here. I will link this in, in the show notes, even if it is in Swedish, the blog itself, you can read this, this uh, uh, script here. It's in uh, almost 100% English. It's only this... Uh, <laughs> word here och that is swedish and that means and <laughs> it doesn't matter you will understand and and this guy he have made this for uh also because he refuses to use pulse audio because he's a yeah a true uh, true guy you know or uh, woman maybe i don't know it's a it's a, a great person i i think hund might watch my my youtube channel maybe not i don't care but I think this was the first time I saw this technique. Uh, so that's what you can do with Dunstify. It might look just uh, stupid, but it's actually very useful. And another very useful thing is this close uh, a notification with a given ID. So for example, we could do this again here. Let's do the same. And now the ID will be 454. If we run this here. Now I can also Dunstify capital C 454 that will close the notification but then it pops up again because we closed the 8 but then it, it comes to 9 and, and, and do it again but with this we can close a notification without uh, using the uh, clicking it or without uh, the, the shortcut we can do it within a script but without restarting Dunst itself and, the, and this this uh, uh, I have found use cases for this many times and was very happy when I discovered uh, this thing because it's kind of uh, uh, dirty to, to restart Dunst all the time just just because you want to uh, remove a notification with, within a script Last thing is this action thing here, and in my opinion, it it could be really powerful and useful. But I have I have uh, found it challenging to to find a, a good use case for this. But I I wrote down here a little readme file um, about how this thing work. I I I don't know. I I let, let let's just skip. I I don't want to make video about it it is just confusing focus on this animation and closing uh, and use this dunstify it's it's really worth it even if it is a bit of a hassle to install it but if you are on arc then i really recommend you just grab this from aur it's a very very small it's i i think it's more or less a single file a c file here and it is more or less just a, a, a beefed up uh, version of uh, yeah, it's quite large <laughs> 300 lines but it, but it's nothing it's it, it's a minimal um, totally no bloat uh, pro program at all highly recommended if you are using uh, arc then it's 
well worth using this. And here we can see the, all the options and stuff. Okay, okay. I think uh, that's enough for this video. Uh, next video we will wrap up and finish that uh, i3 menu thing and I will try to, to make a nice uh, little uh, repo for it. Uh, maybe I should show you that. I have created a, a, some yeah, I'm, I'm kind of reorganization. Yeah, doing some reorganization here on GitHub. Um, so we can see here we have the Bud Labs. I have created the Bud Labs uh, 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 organization where I have moved um, a lot of the things. All, all the show notes for the uh, this Let's Linux series will be uh, found here on Bud Labs, for example can see it here in YouTube there will be show notes and stuff whatever but also we have um, one liner here it's the newest thing I added it yesterday it's like a wrapper for Rofi that always shows a one line and th that you can do cool things with I will make a video about it soon also Mondo can be found here and i3 as and i3 add and Mondo contrib and also this guy danced merch which is a polished version of what I showed you in in the last videos about uh, Dunst here th that merges uh, uh, several files into a single Dunst RC file. He here it is pre pre made for you, uh, and it also yeah whatever. Have a look here, and I think uh, I have also created an AUR package for this, so you can install it if you have art. Let's see if we can find it. Dance merge. I don't remember if I did this. Yeah, there it is. So if you have Arc, you can get it from AUR. And the same is true for, for Mondo and, and uh, i3s now. That, that's new. I, I will also make a video really short uh, uh, soon about this, the new stuff that I've been working on. Which is actually old stuff that I just have been updating and... and I have some plans for, for, for things here. Whatever. Next video will we'll, uh, wrap up this i3 key mm, menu, Rofi menu thing. And I will add that also. The polished version of that will also get added to this Bud Labs uh, organization. Whatever. Thank you for watching. Sorry that I didn't make any videos during the summer. Whatever. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, bye, bye.